It's the calm before the storm at SPCA Masterton, and centre manager Rebecca Johnston is preparing for an influx of cuteness. We're waiting for kittens season. Kittens are currently being born in the community, and then, yeah, they're starting to come in, but very shortly they will be coming in in really big numbers. So that's when we're just lots of foster homes is what we need. But with great cuteness comes great responsibility. Many of the newborn kittens who arrive at the SPCA are sick and require intensive veterinary care. Some of them might need bottle feeding or just, you know, a little bit more kind of care um, around the clock um, than an older kitten. So, yeah, it's lots to organise, lots of desexing and then, then the rehoming. This one's ridiculous. And it's not just felines who need special attention. We are struggling a little bit to rehome the canines that we have in our care. Um, so we've had some dogs in our care for a lot for a little bit longer than than normal. Um, the dogs at the moment we have are amazing, um, and it's just yeah, it's just taking a little bit longer to find that perfect match for them. Johnston believes the cost of living is one of the barriers to rehoming animals at the SPCA. People are finding it quite a struggle to look after themselves and their families um, and dogs are becoming a bit of a luxury that people can't afford. We are having people reach out um, a little bit more um, with help with food or some people unfortunately are in a position that they can no longer keep their animals um, and that can be a challenging time for us because we don't necessarily have the room to take on all of these animals. But it's just, yeah, when it get, numbers get high like that, it's just, it's okay at the moment because there's not a lot of other animals, but it's hard to give them the, everything that they need. It's becoming a little bit tough, and I think that's something that we're seeing nationwide um, with lots of SPCA centres and lots of other animal rescue organisations. Johnston has a piece of advice for pet owners to help mitigate the challenges SPCA is currently facing. The biggest one would be desexing um, your pets so that we're not actually dealing with any of these or many of these unwanted litters or, or the volume of animals that are coming into us. If you don't already have a pet, you can help too by signing up to be a foster carer. So you're just essentially helping an animal transition into a new home rather than being in the centre. You can come in and apply to be a fosterer or a foster home. There is an online form on the SPCA website, so that's just www.spca.nz, or you can pop into your local centre and fill out a foster form. And then once you're all ready to go, then we can match you up with the, with the perfect animal. So it's quite sweet actually, our inspector that found Gavin and brought him in is actually going to adopt him. So he's going home with, with him tomorrow. Hi Gav! Ben Carter, Local Focus.